What's up guys, it's me Hunter Gunslinger here, back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be discussing, of course, this week at Bungie. Today is October 5th, 2017. Zero will be coming back tomorrow along with the Trials of Nine. But today we're going to be talking about the Iron Banner. Now if you guys did see the video that I uploaded about some neat info related to the Iron Banner. So right now the Iron Banner is coming back next week on October 10th at 2 a.m. Pacific time, meaning 5 a.m. Eastern time for me here on the East Coast. If you're in another different time zone, feel free to figure out those time zones. If you guys do like these type of videos, it's always much appreciated if you guys do share these videos. And please hit the like button on this video. And please leave your comments and thoughts what you guys think about Destiny 2 so far and what other games are you anticipating to see on the channel. I know you guys are anticipating to see Wolfenstein 2 and of course Assassin's Creed Origin and of course Call of Duty World War 2 and Star Wars Battlefront is having an open beta today so make sure you download that onto your system on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. But in the meantime let's talk about what's going on with Bungie's article. Now if you guys do remember that Dead Orbit is the winning champion, is the winning fraction for the Fraction Rally. Fraction Rallies will be coming back but they didn't say what Pacific um you know, Pacific Day. It says Fractions Rally will return. New Monarchy and Future World Code will let you know when you have your chance for revenge. Next week, however, we're clearing that space in the tower for another special guest. Laura Sullivan is being back. Yes, he's coming back October 10th, and I cannot wait to everything. Now, you guys see everything in details the armor. I didn't see any weapons yet, but if I do come across that, I will post it in the video along going on to talk about the Iron Banner. Alright, so the Iron Banner is going to have, the game is going to be Control. Control was the first game mode for the Iron Banner anyway, so it's best if they kind of stick to that game mode and don't try any other game modes. Countdown, you know, I don't know what's going on with PvP, and I, I don't know any uh, reviews so far about PvP just yet, but some people said it's pretty, it's pretty easy. I mean, with clans and all that stuff. Um, just to let you guys know, if you are, if you guys are in a clan group, they do have competitive playlists for separate for you guys. A quick playlist is just for people who wants to do a quick uh, matchup. You know, just you know, get through PvP. But if you're with a clan and you're playing with your friends or you know, four other friends of yours, you guys can do the competitive playlist. Okay, I don't know why you clans are in the quick playlist to get easy wins. That means that you're not a good PvP people. So please go to the competitive playlist and leave the quick playlist for people like me that just want to play, you know, an easy PvP match. But in the meantime, Iron Banner is going to be with Control. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it so far about Control aspect. Now, they did change everything from Control and they changed everything about PvP, this in Destiny 2 instead of Destiny 1. Now, in Destiny 1, we had 6 versus 6 and this and that or whatever not so much in destiny 2 it's a lot much easier in control you capture that flag and that's it why in destiny 1 you had to neutralize the flag capture the flag and do this and do that and you know crowd up to section b and do all that kind of stuff i mean you can probably do that in destiny 2 you know stay in section b for nearly like six hours but I won't recommend it. I mean, people are going to kill you in that spot anyway. Because everybody in Destiny who plays Destiny for so long knows that Section B is the main source in PvP playlists. So, me, personally, I will not, you know, stay in Section B, you know. But, that's for other people. Now, there's going to be a lot more difference than it was in Destiny 2. So, here it is. What's the difference? Combat between two teams of four players. Your fighting abilities, not your power levels, will decide the outcome, okay? So everybody always, you know, used to complain about the power levels, like, oh, that's not fair. I'm, like, light level 400, and you go, guy's going to put me in with, you know, this person that's on light level. No, it's all about your fighting abilities. It's all about you, you know, doing you, okay? It's not about power level and all that stuff. Power level doesn't make you you know, unstoppable in PvP. There's a lot of people I play with that's light level 400 in Destiny 1 and they sucked ass in PvP. So, your power level doesn't mean shit in Destiny 2. So, it's all about your fun abilities and you capable of helping your team win. Um, bounties and ranks are being replaced in the Iron Banner Ingram for, uh, with Iron Banner Ingram. So, you guys notice with, you know, how you go to your Vanguard, you go to the Gunsmith, you guys turn in those bounties 
um, or turn in those uh, tokens you get uh, Ingrams that's what it's gonna be this time around in Destiny 2 uh, complain the Destiny 2 campaign people want to know how do I complete or how do I get started in Destiny uh, how do I get started in the Iron Banner uh, complete the Destiny 2 campaign is the only way to reach the tower because that's where Lord Sullivan is gonna be at I'm sorry the train is messing up my video visit Lord Sullivan in the tower to begin the Iron Banner quest and then fight the Iron Banner uh, playlist with the quick quick modes and matchmaking. So it's going to be in the quick play modes instead of the competitive modes because everybody's going to be in that mode. So fighting the Iron Banner playlist with the quick play modes and matchmaking. What is in it for you? You earn Iron Banner tokens in every match and you earn more if your team wins. So make sure you have a good team for that day. Daily and season milestones that track your progress to glory and claim brand new armors and forge of the iron lord So there's gonna be new armors this time around in destiny too. Um, that hunter one <laughs> You guys know I mean, hey, I'm hunter gunslinger and you guys see that hunter outfit You know I'm gonna be grinding the shit out of the iron banner just to get that iron uh, Iron banner gear for my hunter the warlock looks really nice and of course, the Titan looks really, it looks, all, all three of them looks really well. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like that samurai type of uh, armor gear, if you kind of look at it, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below what this armor kind of reminds you of. It kind of reminds me of a little samurai gear. That's just me. Um, in the meantime, the prestigious mode for the Leviathan and Grade is going to be 300. So, hey guys, make sure you try that out next week. Um, and then here's another a cool thing. I'll leave the article and all the details in the description down below so you guys can check this out. But it is said about uh, their stage or story, there's a word again, season. There is mention of seasons when you expect your clan. Now we're talking about it in the blog. What does all that mean? We will answer all the questions. We're like at TwitchCon. It says panel discussion, seasons of destiny. Uh, they're going to have a little discussion about it on Friday, October 20th at 4.30 p.m. Pacific. Um, so make sure you guys go check that out. It says, what do season means in Destiny 2? What will change from the season to season? How many seasons can we expect? And what does season 2 begin? So make sure you guys check that out. I'll leave that link in the description down below so you guys can check that out. And it did have their daily Destiny hotfix in this article so you guys can check that out. But guys, the Iron Barrier is going to be coming back on October 10th at 2 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure you get enough sleep on that Monday, Monday night, wake up Monday, and wake up Tuesday morning, and get yourself started and get yourself playing. Now, don't remember, guys, that the you know everything's gonna be changing at this time in Destiny 2. Everything is not like rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four to get that. Not anymore. Everything is just basically turning those tokens, and you'd be lucky enough to get whatever gear that you get for your character in destiny 2 because you guys do remember in rank one rank two rank three you turn in those pacific bounties at rank five you get like a legendary uh weapon or something that in a sense or a legendary armor or rank three you get armor rank two you get this and rank one you lucky enough to get something out of rank one not this time in destiny 2 everything's pretty much token you turn in those tokens win as much matches as you possibly can with the team you have and just go from there the more you win the more tokens you get now if you uh like they say if you just play the playlist you get a token but if your team wins the more wins you get the more tokens you get and the better chances you will get those gears. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Iron Banner so far. What you expect from the Iron Banner this time around that you didn't expect in Destiny, uh, Destiny 1. The Iron Banner game mode will be controlled. Uh, I don't know if they might change it for the next Iron Banner in November. I don't know if they're going to do that how they did in Destiny 1. How they kind of change it like to Supremacy. And they change it to this. They change it to that. Or they're just going to stick to control this time around. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are thinking about the Iron Banner. My name is Hunter Gunslinger. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. I hope you guys have a lovely Friday. And I will see you guys in my next Destiny post. <laughs>